the Ansaridin Society of Nigeria, one of the foremost and earliest religious organizations established in 1923. The ingenuity of the founders on improving the educational prowess of Muslims amongst the aims and objectives of the organization cannot be overemphasized. Apart from instilling morals and sound education and forestalling them being lured into other faith, the educational mandate of the society has been fully entrenched nationwide with membership as widespread as in the diaspora. Anzaruddin Society of Nigeria was founded by just over 40 young Muslims who received the education from Christian mission schools. Young men tutored in Christian schools and Christian divinity gathered together at Alawiye compound at Balogun Square on the 23rd December 1923 to formally establish the Young and Zardin Society of Nigeria. And Saudi society is not just any religious association. It is a formidable and well-structured organization with strict adherence to process and well-laid-down secession plan. Young men, civil service, and uh, the bureaucracy in the civil service was also introduced into the society. And I can tell you that has helped in the sustenance of the society up to today. Because things are done with process. There's, there are processes to follow. And um, we must us always show gratitude to these founding fathers because they laid a very strong foundation. You can count on these writers, either Islamic or Christian organizations that have come and gone because proper foundations were not laid. Over the years, the foremost religious body has had three chief missioners, all of whom are eminently qualified to lead the mission board across the globe. Let's look at the past three national missioners they had. Baba Ekemode was not only an orator, he was knowledgeable, he was fearless. The same thing goes for Alaji Alaya of the blessed memory. He was courageous. It was outspoken. It was fearless. Then the national mission that we have presently is not only articulate, it speaks powerfully. It's so fearless and courageous. Shows the kind of mission and vision as our reading has. Let's go to education. As our reading began from the primary education, they decided to educate a lot of Nigerians, regardless of whether they are Muslims or Christians. And a lot of Nigerians have benefited from the education provided by a Saudi society of Nigeria. The other time I was going to somewhere at uh, Kaduna, I saw a piece of land belonging to a Saudi, a mark for schools. So the same thing you find in the Southwest or other parts of the country. The present national missioner, Sheikh Abdurrahman Olari Waju Ahmed, combines the knowledge of Islamic, Arabic, and Western education, thus endows him with his oratory in both local and English language in his presentation. He is always a delight to listen to. I want to dovetail into preparing to exit. Because we came, it's inevitable that everyone that came must go. And as we do this, we must keep in view how we want to meet the one who sent us here. If there is time, we will look at that great day, the day of resurrection and accountability, which inevitably we must all face. Even though a religious organization that can also qualify as a non-governmental organization, and Saruddin has established several infrastructures to aid learning nationwide. Hence, you find educational institutes in all the nooks and crannies of Nigeria established by Ansaruddin.
Apart from the self-efforts of the members, the old students of the schools also contribute their quota to give back to the institution that molded them. One of such is Ahosa. The dawah or evangelism activities of the society is top-notch as lectures are held on both Islamic and contemporary issues geared towards national development. <laughs> As the Imam of the society, we have a lot to do. The Yorubas, the Hausas, the Igbos, and even the Arabs, the foreigners from the embassies and from different places, they pray in Ansaro and monks. We do give sermon on the, whatever we have on ground. So whatever is going on current affairs, so if it is politics, we discuss about politics. We cannot bring in what is not there and bring it to be there. So we discuss current issues with the government and then people enjoy what we are doing a little. The aim of the founders for optimal education of their children and generation yet unborn has blossomed into a great citadel of learning, the Summit University in Ofa. It is sure a dream well fulfilled by their unique sincerity of intention. Summit University of Ofa. The University of Ansarudin Society of Nigeria. The university has three main colleges the College of Natural and Applied Sciences, the College of Management and Social Sciences, and the College of Humanities. Here at Summit University, we believe in the Triple Helix model, which are education, skills, and the most importantly, the moral aspect of it. University, you have the privilege to talk to your lecturers comfortably and they explain things you don't understand to you until you understand it. I urge you to join us at Summit University to get the best out of education. With the capital intensive nature of running a university of good standard, members are also determined to sustain it in various levies and special fundraising inclusive of the women folk. <laughs> Deputy President, Deputy National President, Toro Alogawa, in other state countries. Afi, one one million kali. Allahu Akbar. Secretary, Sani, only, only 500,000. Allahu Akbar. 80 million, you've got to pay for the adrosi. One hour now, 500,000. Wow, Akbar. God is, uh, has inspired us to talk to them and you can see the result of uh, my admonition to them and uh, it is my hope that this uh, 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 process will be a continuous one that even after they are able to meet the target we have set for them today they will not relax and they will continue to do better and better. The concern we have now is we need to gather ourselves together and our project, the pair project is our university. That is our problem now. So we don't we want the university to grow. So inshallah we shall continue to work towards this. And Sarudin is not just a society but one who have their members at heart. With an unequal empowerment program and care for the less privileged, thereby Bridging the gap. Allah. Zarudin United Family. Masha Allah.